Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not, not terrible. Not terrible. Doing good so far. Doing pretty damn de decent. Should definitely beat this person. He's got two swords. That's it. Our DPS is just, is just higher. Along with our healing as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Boom. Or right. boom. Boom. All right. I would love to combine here. I say we risk it. Or actually, we don't really have to risk risk it per se. We could just rock banana instead. Start risk risking it. Versus broom and a wooden sword on a ranger. Ooh. They have regeneration. Crap. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We needed that combination. Oh, yes. Yes. I needed that so badly. Um. All right, cool. <laughs> I like how we're just not getting space right now. It's okay, though. We're looking. This is looking damn good right now. So far, it, 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 can we win this? Please, game. Nice criticals. Juicy criticals. Yes. Those were some beautiful crits. Beautiful. Let's get the space. Roll. Oh, buddy. Buddy, old pal. Buddy, old pal. Yes. 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 Buddy, old pal. This is looking great. This is looking great. I like what I see so far. I'm loving it even. All right. What are we going against? Looks like a, just a sword with a torch. Health potion proccing is our biggest concern here. We definitely out DPS, but that health potion freaked us. Did it freak us up enough? It didn't freak us enough. It didn't freak us enough. Nice. Should I go goober here? What is this? Round five. 45% chance in a common. Going goober here wouldn't be horrible. Blood goober would be nice. Ah. I need to pull, though, for more whetstones while I can. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't do it to myself. We need to pull from our whetstones. While the iron is hot. Didn't get any, unfortunately, but it's okay. It is okay. Stamina each is a one to one. That makes me want to use this on the swords, actually, instead of, uh... Like that. Yeah. All right. All right, we need more whetstones. Gloves, we can always get gloves. Whetstones, you can't always get. You can only get whetstones in the beginning of the game. Well, you can get them in a later later game, but it's just a lot harder. Come on, break that shield. Stop doing zero damage. There we go. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Oh, I needed that. Okay, okay. This is looking good. This is looking good. Let's get that Falcon Blade on the play. Um, that guy can go there. And that's all. Okay. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Triple Flying Arlick, double Spike Shields we lost. Spikes is going to be too much for us. We're not going to be out heal. We're not going to be out able to out DPS. It's okay, though. That is perfectly fine. We need one. We need one more whetstone. I don't even think we need that space. Give me one more whetstone. Now, 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 I don't care. Now, I don't care. Now, I don't care. Now, now, yes. <laughs> it was worth it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. It was worth it. It was worth the pain and suffering of spinning and losing double the amount of money for that singular whetstone because we need that combination today. Which means we have to probably get rid of something. Well, I mean, we could get rid of garlic and lucky clover. That's what we'll have to do. I'm so glad it's on sale as well. It being on sale makes it so much better. So much better. We have three lives, which means we're gonna have we're gonna have at least one round to use the freaking sword, unless we win these. 
I mean, it's possible. Holy crap, are we going to win this? I just realized he only had daggers. What is this guy doing? I'll take the W, though. Hex, yeah. Oh, and we got our life back, too. Boom. Okay, so... I don't think we go mana here. Even though it's on sale, I would love to get you. I would love it. I would love to get you, but you don't matter. So, we probably go crit here. Yeah, go crit. Um... Freaking headphones just died or did something weird. Anyways, go crit. Um, leather bag. Let's go box of riches. Oh, fanny pack. I think that's good. I think all of that is just good. Look at that. It's my first time ever getting crossblades, by the way. Fun fact. Um, how am I going to set this up where I can utilize that as well? We'll use that as an activation and uh, we can move that over there for an activation and banana can go there for the speed up. And, um, yeah, I like this. This is looking good. This is looking good. It's looking damn good. Look at this guy. He's like, oh my God, he's about to get the cross blades. Holy shizzle. Yes, sir, I am. You are probably going to beat me as well. More than likely. But next round, meet me next round. And I bet you won't, buddy. I bet you won't beat me next. Meet me next round, buddy. Boom! Look at that juicy crossblades. Looking good. Got three lives left. Let's get the gloves of haste. It's on sale. Um, what do we do here? I honestly, I didn't, I, I didn't think this far through. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna get this far. Okay, so the weapon in front gains ten damage, and the star is sixty percent faster. And every time this guy attacks. He gains one damage and he also gets faster so i guess for the 60 percent faster we could just put it on the banana because like that's the only thing that we have that can get faster and we'll put the gloves of haste on the uh honestly we could put that on both of them but the banana and the yeah we could do that and then this could just go like that because there's nothing else we can do about it now what do we do with our 10 gold um i mean it's it's on sale. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it just because it's on sale. Let's roll. I would love jewels. Jewels are never bad. Getting another banana might not be too bad either, because this stamina usage is 0.6, and it's just every it's gonna keep getting faster. Every single time it attacks, it gets three percent faster, which means it's going to eventually become a bottleneck of stamina. It's not gonna be a bottleneck of damage. The damage increases, but the faster it gets, the more stamina it uses per second. And our stamina is going to have to keep up with that stamina usage. So, I say we do that. And the faster our stamina generation, the better position we're in. We could get a Gooby, because this thing actually works kind of well with Goobits. The thing is, I would like to get the Goober with a Hero Sword, but I don't think we're going to be able to get two more Whetstones with a 20% chance. Um... The only Goobert that I would realistically get with this would probably be the Blood Goobert, but I don't feel like getting that. So, yeah. I think we just roll with this. All right. Going against... I would love to get a Ruby Whelp, though. That'll, that'll help us with our DPS for sure. But yeah, going against Ruby Whelp, um, Thorn Whip, um, a bunch of Thorns, which means a bunch of Poison. So hopefully this thing can go really fast for us. Really, really fast. Each time it does, it increases in DPS. We're looking, looking good so far. 35 critical, and that's a win. That's a win. That's a win. Nice. Do we go mana? Do we go mana? Mana can help us with healing. No, it can't, because we're not going to use mana thirst. Um, crap. Yeah, we're not going to use mana thirst. We need speed. We could utilize vampiric armor though, if that comes to it. But the more, yeah, we need vampirism and we need speed. Vampiric armor would be good. We could also get the uh, moon shield. Moon shield can help us with getting that block for survivability. So getting the mana orb might not be a horrible idea actually. 
We're also going to need space, so I'll get that as well. Um, I would love to roll for a ruby whelp, though. Because it doesn't use stamina, and we can utilize that on that plus 10 damage. Which is going to help us a lot. So, I want a W key for a ruby whelp ASAP. Going against a deck of cards build. Hungry Blade plus a dagger on a reaper. Um... Not sure if we'll beat this one. Looking pretty bad for us, but he also used all his cards already. And a 64 critical. It's never a bad thing. Let's get this on the play. Can also use a combination there. I do want the space, but I don't know if I don't want that space. I'm gonna roll. I want that space. Roll. There we freaking go. Roll. More space. White stone. I'm not gonna get a wooden sword though. Um, let's move this entire thing down by one. So it's inside of both of there. Like that. Can move this down by one, move this down by one. Nice. Okay. Nice. Oh crap, I forgot. The Gloves of Haste needs to go there. Um, yeah, so this will have to change. Like that. And, uh, Welp can go there. This can go up there. This can go nowhere. <laughs> Still need that combination, though. And, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Going against a bunch of food with the shovel and a uh, mana thirst. And a torch. Interesting. I say we beat this guy. No way we don't, right? Yeah. For sure. Beat that guy. Boom. Let's go ahead and get that fanny pack. Roll. Um, I did not want that to combine, actually. But that's okay. That is fine. You know what? I'll get the chip toe pass. In some space. I'll get the birds roll. Oh, yes. I'll get the acorn collar as well. Um, let's go ahead and put that there. The faster this thing is, the better. So I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. We also need bananas, though. I haven't been able to... I haven't seen any bananas recently, which is a little concerning. But hopefully they start showing themselves soon. We could also go for invulnerability. I think that's what we should do. Oh my. That critical on that dagger is nasty. We weren't, able, we weren't able to survive long enough there. But we now have the Ruby Whelp. With that plus 10 damage, that's looking like a 15 to 20, which is nasty. We can also use this Gloves of Haste on that, make that 20% faster. Boom. So now that's going to be one fast cross blades already. We can get the Acorn Collar in there as well for that critical. And we could put that both on the crossblades and the ruby well. This is looking good. This is looking damn good. Excuse that. That can go there. This can go up there. Oh. There. Honestly, I would like this to be on the bananas as well. So right there would be the ideal position. If I could put a banana right there as well, that would be good. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Two? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Unless I get rid of the shield. I could get rid of the shield. And then that would just work. Yeah. Well, actually, no. This can go there. That can go there because we're not using. You're not utilizing the mana for anything. So that proking doesn't really matter to us. Going against Bloodthorn Magic Staff. We do need a glowing crown though because I feel like that's going to be the best direct effect that we can have um, with the the mana that we do generate. Because we're not going to have the mana thirst or a magic staff or anything like that. So 
Getting that crown would be really good for us. It'll help us survive longer as well. But it seems like we're doing pretty damn good against this guy. 40 critical, 39 critical. This thing is doing 15 to 20 damage with the critical as well. Pretty damn nasty. That's pretty damn nasty. I'll take that W. Um, boom. There goes that vampiric gloves, which is going to be good. We can sell that. Roll. Oh, there goes the armor. For no reason. Um, I forgot why we wanted armor in the first place. But I'll keep it. There we go. Double armor? Question mark? Nah. Nah, we don't need double armor. Single armor should be fine. Oh, crap. Okay. That's an interesting Excalibur build. But nevertheless, pretty damn nasty as well. He's got the mana generation to feed the, uh, the Excalibur. Excalibur, I believe, activates all the food when it activates. He doesn't have any carrots, though, so that empowerment isn't going to be a problem. It just looks like he has a bunch of blueberries and a little bit of poison, but nothing that we need to worry about, apparently. So I'll take that W. Oh, not really. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm not going to lie. Using this on the vampiric gloves wouldn't be a bad idea. It turns that five into a ten. The only problem would be stamina. That would realistically be the only problem we would have to worry about because we want our crossblades to attack, not this. And this gets faster each vampirism you have. 5% faster, in fact. So getting at 10 vampirism means this is going to attack 50% faster, which is pretty much going to be, what, 20 or 3 seconds? We're just going to increase that stamina usage. Because it's, it's 0.1 a second, which isn't nothing compared to everything else. But still, that vampirism would be nice. That vampirism would be nice, especially if I get more vampiric gloves. That'll pretty much guarantee we heal each time we hit. Crunchy Mine. Hey, how's it going? What's up? I feel like I should get it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. It's looking at me funny. My mic's a bit loud. Uh. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get it for the sake of getting it. Because why not? It being there isn't a problem, I don't think. Hold up. What if we just, like, did this? That looks disgusting, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> looks pretty damn nasty. Because they're both gaining the speed to 35% faster. This gets faster with vampirism and doubles down on the vampirism. And then you also have the 60% faster from the crossblades. I don't know. That looks like a dangerous thing to do. Because this thing is just going to be fast as fuck. How much stamina is that going to be, though? That's going to be some nasty stamina usage. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stamina to keep up with that. Why does this just work perfectly? It's like, like everything just falls into place. All we need is another acorn to go there or something. Okay, bananas. Y'all are going to have to work overtime. Y'all are definitely going to have to work some overtime. Because um, we're going to need it a lot. If I got a Dejan lamp, nah, that's not gonna. It's not gonna be viable. I wonder how fast this thing's gonna get. It's gonna get. It's gonna be too fast, I think. Should I get them? No, I don't. I don't need that anymore. Nah, it's gonna be way too fast. It's gonna be way too fast. Oh my gosh, that's a dangerous build. That's a lot of. That's a lot of DPS he's got going on there. 
That's a lot of DPS. All right, let's see. When that vampirism procs. Boom, 10 vampirism. This is a 1.5. This is 0 0.7. This is a 1.7. Holy crap. We annihilated him. Annihilated. Absolutely annihilated him. So this was a 0.66, a 1.4. So the stamina cost is 1.5 a second, 0.3 a second. What? So it only went from a one, it went from 0.1 to 0.3. That's nothing. That's nothing. And it got like double the amount of speed. That is nothing. This was what? 50% faster from uh, vampir vampirism and then 35% uh, faster. So that's 85% faster. And then the 40% faster here. That's 125% faster. I don't even know this is procced all four times. That's pretty nasty. Should we get another bird? Where would we put it? We put it here. Now, nah, probably here so it can affect that banana as well, right? Yeah. Getting another birdie. I don't even know what I have you. Uh, oh my, I need that. I need that. Sell you, sell you. Give me another jewel to sell. Should I sell this one? Yep. More vampire gloves. I got to fit this in here somewhere though. I can move it downwards and then put the banana down here. That will work. It's unfortunate it's not going to be on the, the cross plates though, but it'll be fine. Unless I just move this like that. Nah, I like this better. It's better. Um, it works. And we could just put some space down there. All right, cool. I've never done this build before. This is... It feels disgusting. I'm going to be honest. That's how it feels. This guy's name is LeBron. <laughs> He's got, what, three daggers, a ripshaw blade, and a pandanomium? Interesting build he got going on here. We got 14 vampirism on the play. 14. 14. And it's only going to get higher. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh, no. We're finally hitting that stamina wall. I mean, he does have a shield, though. But still, we're finally hitting that stamina wall. So we got to invest heavily into some bananas. Even so, it seems like we, we still just destroy them. I'm going to blame it on the vampirism. Okay, so... Yeah, we could just put that in there and then banana. That works. Give me more bananas. That's what I... Okay. I do want this too. Man, I was hoping to put it there, but... We'll have to see who does the most DPS after this. Gaining a stamina potion might not be bad. Oh, and the crown. And another gloves of haste. Huh. I mean... contemplating it right now i think i should get it but i think this takes priority so i'm gonna get this first i think that takes priority but yeah i'm gonna get that stamina potion okay okay now this is a, a lot stronger <laughs> dagger build okay okay hopefully i'm able to generate that that 10 mana in time because we're only using it on two birds and it's a 50% chance. We only generated one, but we got 20 vampirism. So there goes our survivability. Along with the healing we get from the, the, the crown. And now we are stamina blocked. Even though it still seems like we're doing pretty damn good. Is that thing doing 10 damage? That's what it looks like. No way it just did one damage. 
I mean, it is 8 to 14, and it doesn't have any increase in DPS. We just took so much damage right there at the end. How much damage are you doing? Yeah, 74. Crossblaze is 400. I mean, then again, the vampirism, so... I think it was worth it. Put that there. We did get another bird. Where will we put it, though? Might not be that bad of a spot. I just want it on both of the bananas. <laughs> both of the bananas, bro. That's all I care about. Put it on the bananas. Should I sell this now? We only got one round to survive. It doesn't matter. This is the most interesting build I have ever done. I want to find a better spot for this. This would be such a good spot, I think. But then this doesn't have anywhere to go. Well, it could go down here. I guess that works. I just need something to generate that mana a little bit better. All right. OG Carrot Goobert build double. Uh, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, I, for I forgot what you call this. What do you call it? Fa Falcon Blade? I see you. I see you. Let's see, though. Let's see who's better. Oh, crap. Hold up now. I got my I got my healing. I got my vampirism, though. I got my vampirism. Oh, looking good. Invulnerability. It's the game over. Game over. We take this one. We take it. Yippee. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a good game. That was a good game. I was not expecting to go this route at all. This is my, my first time using crossblades ever. And that was actually, that was actually pretty damn good. Imagine we got like three of those in there. 20 vampirism. This thing was a 1.13 second cooldown. Wow. I wonder if you could literally win a game with only using the blood vamp uh, harvester. Blood harvester with a bunch of speed and a gin proc. That could look nasty because this thing barely uses stamina every second. So literally just rock like three gloves of haste inside of it. Um, and a bunch of like birds and stuff and then just a gin proc and just watch it just go. Wow. 40 damage, 40 damage, 40 damage. And then you're just getting a bunch of health back because of vampirism. I wonder how well that would go. And you can even rock a blood goobert on there too. Because the blood goober increases your healing per vampirism you get. So you can even rock one of those. Or maybe even um I wonder, does uh does the what do you call it? Does the mana thirst also increase for per vampirism? I think it does. You can even rock a vamp uh mana thirst on there, considering this doesn't use any stamina anyways. But yeah, that was a good game. I think the Ruby Walt was a massive W right there. Massive W. I mean, it did do like 200 damage. So, <laughs> hell yeah. 241 healing. Sheesh. This wasn't bad either. Double Carrot Goobert. Double Falcon Blade. I mean, I would have probably put the carrots that you had with the Falcon Blade to make them faster, personally. But I see you. You did what you had to do, my friend. You did what you had to do. It was a good game, though. Put me back in Diamond, where I belong, motherfucker. Put me back. That, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep.